Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today begins a time where we likely have the best chance of packing a promo icon or hero of the entire year of FC 24. Today brings the brand new Golasso promo into FC 24 Ultimate Team, and we need to talk about what it is going to do to this game today. What to look out for in terms of impacts, cards, SBCs, objectives, and maybe even evolutions and a big player of the month that could be coming today as well. There's a lot to discuss, especially with all these icons coming. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Before we get into the madness of today, let's go back and take a quick look at the end of Ultimate Birthday, which we were left with just a quiet Thursday, which is pretty normal, right? If we're being completely honest, let's dip into yesterday's player SBC. There's not a whole lot to talk about here with Leo Williamson. It is not a bad SBC. It is not a great SBC. It is a cheap 89 rated card. If you want to try a different center back, center defense, of mid arsenal links anticipate plus always a very very good play style again the best part about this is if you want to do it it is a pretty cheap sbc only an 85 rated squad which technically is coming in on the market at 28,000 coins and that's just barely above what a fodder 89 is going for so a w kind of these last three sbcs luca bacchio ferguson and williamson will be good maybe to put in the club for a future evo or just to do when you have some extra surplus fodder to get some sbcs done at a higher rating with those cards now the biggest thing yesterday of course we had marquee matchups there's not too much to say about that before we move out of sbcs that is there have to mention it the biggest thing from yesterday guys thursdays are really becoming massive for division rivals rewards i mean i got my rivals rewards the Division 4, the reward upgrade, just got into Division 4 as I started playing Rivals again, and I have not been playing Rivals for a while, but literally from the cup rewards that I had left over to open, and my Division Rivals rewards yesterday, I was able to complete this Haji SBC literally in one day, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did some of the same things, like used your rewards from Rivals to go and get some SBCs done, it's awesome. All the rewards that we are getting on Thursdays and all the SBCs we are able to craft because of that. It's just one thing I wanted to shout out. It didn't move the market a lot yesterday. Um, it did make fodder prices go down as expected. And honestly, the ultimate birthday cards from Team 2 really didn't rise up that much. That was the uh, expectation we had, but it really didn't happen for most of the cards. But it was a good day to trade. You did see some other player prices move up because people got those rewards, went out, and bought players. I'm trading with a lot of stuff right now, too, as we head into this Friday. Now, speaking of the market, Market. There is a negative situation that has been happening a lot on this game in the past two days as well because EA and their fraudulent banning of players on the market, transfer bans, coin wipes, even banning people completely from the game has been happening a lot. What in the world is this? A goalkeeper Roberto Carlos card? Guys, they said they fixed this whole goalkeeper thing, man. Um, what is that? Like, what in the world is that, man? I don't know. It does not make any sense. But EA has been banning so many people on this game in the past day or two. Coin wiping them, um, market banning them because of transactions made on the market that are actually not coin ban worthy transactions. A lot of people have been buying and selling or maybe trying to snipe or maybe they invested in as the cards were going up some of these bronzes like Colby Menu, who's 10,000 coins and was extinct. A lot of people are getting banned for trading with silvers and selling them at max price, or for those of uh, people who are trying to buy and sell goalkeepers with the playstyle pluses, um, the players that were not supposed to be goalkeepers that were all of a sudden changing the goalkeepers, right? These cards, people who are buying and selling these because they were close to their max price, were getting coin wiped and banned. It's very frustrating, and it is yet again another issue with this system that. EA have to try to protect the market from what they don't want to happen is in coin buying and selling and transferring. But what is it, it is in turn doing is just literally banning people who are doing nothing wrong except for trying to buy cards for Evos or trade on the market. It's very frustrating and it continues to happen. And a lot of people, if you look at the comments on yesterday's video, so many people got coin wiped or coin banned. It's sad because really what it is doing is it's making people not want to play the game when they have all the work that they've worked up to for now the past, what, like six months that this game has been out and that's all whisked away in a, in a minute's notice um, with, um, you know, a coin wipe or a market ban. It's just very frustrating. So if you got banned, um, you, I do want to point you guys to a place where you can send in your feedback. It's on the EAFC uh, direct communications Twitter. I'll put the link to the tweet that they posted with the feedback down below. Make sure you get a, a help ticket and all that. You know, they say it's going to help. 
I don't know. I hope it does for a lot of you guys. And uh, I'm going to keep tabs on the situation because it's something, of course, that happened to me. And I want to get you guys as much help as I possibly can. And hopefully that's what they told me to tell you is to go to this system, go to the feedback portal, use your case number and keep persistent with the cases and like try to get your coins back. So that's what we're going to do. But I need to say that because a lot of people are having issues with that yesterday now let's move into today the fun stuff right the Golasso promo that is dropping today on this game we had that loading screen yesterday that teased maybe a huge upgrade for Berbatov and it also leaked a brand new icon really quickly I want to look through all of the icons that have been leaked so far guys I think there's got to be more coming there's not that many compared to what we had last year in the Trophy Titans promo we need some more icons to be leaked but this is one of the headliners Johan Cruyff is going to be in packs today he's on the loading screen he is that middle card he is going to be a Golasso icon coming today. We have got other big names coming. Newly leaked cards like Prinz. It's not Gerd Muller on the loading screen. It is Prinz. She's getting a big pace upgrade. Hopefully this card gets two very usable play style pluses. We're looking out for her. Jabi Alonso. I would love it if they gave Jabi Alonso a huge pace boost and just made his card genuinely insane. Why not? Who says no, right? He had the Thunderstruck card earlier on this year that was really cheap. It's kind of a fodder icon, if you will. Give this man an insane card. His club is doing insane things IRL in the Bundesliga this year. Give him a card to like celebrate that or something along the lines, right? I actually think the whole premise of this promo, guys, with Golasso is to like commemorate moments or goals that these players had scored in their career and that maybe is going to be made evident by the different versions, like two versions of some of these cards that like, we're supposed to be seeing. Ashley Cole has also been leaked as a Golasso player. These are some of the hot off the press newest names that we have seen. Another version for him, I think that's his... Uh, um, this is second version this year. He's had he had the winter wild no not winter wild card centurions card and now this one. So he's getting another card. Of course, Bobby Charlton. We've talked about that one. He's going to be mad expensive unless they do two versions for him. That's going to be a crazy crazy card though for sure. And Cafu, another big name defender. We've got Cole on the left and Cafu on the right uh, leaked to be in this upcoming promo. But once again, guys, it's not a ton of names for the icons now when we go back and look through some of the heroes that have been leaked we've got Colaire, we've got dempsey these are going to be some of the cheaper cards for sure in my opinion they could be boosted up pretty nice but i think they're going to be more packable and they're going to be pretty cheap but they will definitely be fun francescoli is another one that's coming i'm actually a little bit excited for this card he I mean, this is his first year in the game. I have not even used his base hero card. He's got no upgrades yet. I'm excited to see what a franchise goalie could look like today on this game. And of course, we've got Okocha. Evidently, he's going to have two different versions of his Golasso hero card. And of course, the man himself, Ginola. A lot of people are still doing the Ginola SBC from Triple Threat. This is going to be... I would have to imagine this is going to be either the first or the most second most expensive card that is released in the promo today. Um, I think there might be a couple more hero leaks as well. Uh, let me click through a couple of the... Yes, we've got Berbatov. Of course, Berbatov's on the loading screen, and his card actually looks like it might be juiced. I think on the loading screen, it shows 92 shooting and 93 dribbling. So that's kind of the hope. Like I mentioned with Javi Alonso, maybe for Berbatov as well, maybe even for Rafa Marquez. They take some of these heroes that we really have like not used because they're not that meta, and they make them really, really good cards. That is the hope for some of those today. Now... That's kind of the cards that are in packs, right? And again, I want to mention the packability of these cards because we're expecting them to be pretty packable today, right? That's why we all have a really good chance of packing an icon or a hero today. I think probably the best chance of the entire year. You've got the card designs that are already in the game, Golasso Hero and the Golasso Icon. Um, it doesn't look like there's two different versions or anything like that. Like in the game right now, it just shows Golasso Hero and Golasso Icon. So I don't know how the whole two versions thing is going to work. Maybe it's only via SBCs and objectives because as of right now, I think besides Okocha, all the leaks that we have are for SBC players to have two different versions. But again, this is the promo that last year... They made a lot of these cards very packable in Trophy Titans with the very high pack weight with some of the little bro icon versions and the big bro versions. So we'll have to see. I also maybe think that they're going to make the heroes a lot more packable this year because there's a lot more heroes leaked than there are icons. But in reality, guys, they're not going to give us a promo where it's all icons and heroes that we like can't 
pack. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't packed any full birthday Pires or even the lowest tier of the icons that were in ultimate birthday. I didn't pack any from last week into this week of birthday team one or two, but I have to imagine that since the whole promo team is made up of icons and heroes, they're going to make them a lot more packable than regular icons and heroes. That's the whole point, right? They would be driving everybody off the game and saying, nah, this promo sucks if they weren't packable. So we're kind of leaning on our intuition from last year's promo of Trophy Titans and looking into this year thinking that it's going to be the most packable heroes and icons that we've had yet of the year. But we will have to see what ends up happening. So that's that. We'll be watching the store pack weight for sure 100% today to see how much action is going on in there in terms of percentages from the lightning round packs and all that sort of stuff. Now let's talk about SBCs because there's a lot of SBC content that we have to be looking out for today. This is the first leak, right? Um, or this is actually the second leak. Technically we have Al Awayrin is our first leak as potentially two versions. One of the Al Awayrins could be in packs and then the other could be an SBC and the same situation here for Van Persie, right? He is leaked to come as a Golazo SBC. And again, let me explain that leak again. It sounds like, per the leakers, that some of these cards have two different versions. One of them is maybe in packs, and the other of them is either an SBC or an objective. Now, I think there's, this is, could be good. This could be really good because there could be a really good version that's an objective, and then like a stupid crazy version that's in packs. That happened last year with Bird Camp, if you guys remember. The problem with this is, though, let's say Van Persie gets an SBC today, and you go and do the Van Persie SBC, and let's say it's like a 90. Let's say Van Persie is like 92 rated or something, the new one that comes out today, right? And you're like, okay, that's a sick Van Persie, usable, I want to use this card. But then uh, the one that's in packs is like 93 rated, and it's like 5-star skills, 5-star weak foot, something absolutely bananas, and then you end up packing that Van Persie after you did the SBC, because we all know dupe theory exists, right? That's the sort of thing I could see a problem uh, with these if there's an SBC or an objective you do that and then you pack the version that's in packs There could be a little bit of a problem with that And then also if you do an SBC for a card like imagine the SBC is for like this little bro Van Persie Who's got more pace but less shooting and then you know that cards good and cool and all but it's then you're like hmm, I did the SBC for this card and it's not the best version, right? The whole point of some of the ultimate birthday icon SBCs being so good was like or even the Ribery SBC being so good is you were getting the best version of that card that exists. So there's going to be a little bit of, you know, push and pull there. What's going to be the hype around that? I'm really curious to see. As long as they juice the cards in SBCs and objectives and make them decent, there's good promise. I'm hoping it's Aloe Wayron today, to be completely honest. But I think it's going to be either the an Aloe Wayron SBC or a Van Persie. It's either of those two today. And then the other version might be in packs again. Not entirely sure. We're just going to have to play that one by ear today as well. Now, speaking of other SBCs that we are getting today on this game, we're getting a big-time player of the month. It's been leaked. It's been talked about. This could happen actually before the 6 p.m. UK normal content drop time today. Vinny Jr. Player of the Month. It could be today, but also I do want to say it could be later too. It could be actually next Friday. So I don't know which day it's going to be. Today is very possible. Next Friday is possible as well since it's the start of a new month, but it's leaked. The voting is done. So it's kind of like, why wouldn't they put it out this week? We'll just have to see. This could be a really, really big SBC that a lot of people would want to craft. I would honestly say, guys, this is like an Mbappe SBC for like a play of the month Mbappe. Play of the month Vinny would be like almost there, maybe just a step below. A Vinny SBC would be crazy because people want to get their hands on a five-star skills Vinny Jr. card. Now, here's the problem. I don't think he's going to be 93 rated. This is his, I think, an Inform. The Inform Vinny is the card that we look at as the last performance-based upgrade. Team of the year technically you would say is based off his performances but it's not like that month or like his performance recently in real life that's just kind of like a whole the whole year right so i think that's a little bit different i hope they make player of the month vinny whenever he he drops a 93 but he's probably going to be a 91 that might make a little more of an affordable sbc though we're talking maybe around 1 million coins to like 1.5 mil i really like 1.3 it seems about right if they were to drop a 191 rated vinny you'd think it'd be in there if they dropped a 93 rated vinny then it might be really really expensive so 
you know, just take it with that what you will. But I think a Vinny Player of the Month is coming soon. If he doesn't come out today, I would say that some of his special cards would probably go back up in price. There'd be a little bit of a buyback um, on the team of the Honorable Mentions, maybe the Thunderstruck in the Inform, which I believe the Inform has already kind of gone back up some too, because this card was down at like a million coins. He's up 100K. So there's potential for that SBC today. And then also another chance to uh, pack the brand new cards in a promo team. I thought about saving packs, but then I looked inside of the SBC section and noticed that the 84.5 is refreshing again today. And we can all do it three more times after the new cards are in packs today. So you might as well not save anything. Just rip your 84 times fives after content and you're good to go. That's going to be our best chance probably to get a Golazo Hero or a Golazo Icon. And of course, your daily gold upgrades you can do to get gold commons to rip through the 80 plus player picks with this menu craft that is still alive and well. It is very good. Now, we kind of already mentioned objectives, right? There could be an objective player today as well. Last year, it was the bird camp, like we mentioned. And that was really hype because that was like one of the first times ever we had an icon player that you could just obtain and a good icon player at that that you could just obtain by playing the game. So, I don't know how it's going to work out today if we're going to get something like that again or if it's going to be a hero, but I do expect some sort of objective. And the real question I have is, what are they going to do for an evolution? Because I don't know, I don't know, maybe you guys have done an icon or a hero evo this year, but they've not been good. Like, I think back to all the icon evos, maybe the one where you could boost up Zola. I didn't even think that one was worth it. There's got to be something in here with this promo that they're going to do something in Evolutions, but I wouldn't expect as much stuff as we have had during Ultimate Birthday for sure. Now, make sure, quick note, the two-footed attack evolution is going away today at content. If you want to put somebody into that, make sure you do that before then. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't expect an Evo unless there is a leak. Um, for one, but Fridays, normally, we start off a brand new promo with an Evo as well. The only thing that I would say is maybe... You look into your club a little bit, or maybe you look at a hero or an icon player. If they're going to release an evolution that requires a hero or an icon, it, at this state of the game as well, it might even allow some of the UEFA heroes. If there's a favorite player that you have that's maybe a little bit lower rated and cheaper, like maybe a Demarcus Beasley or, I don't know, maybe Rosicky or something like that, one of those cheaper types of heroes, maybe even an icon too, that, those would be the type of heroes I think that would be evolvable and upgradable. Maybe put one in your club and just stock it just in case because this is one thing whenever we get hero or ev or icon evos, those prices of the cards that fit go crazy bananas high. Like they fly in price. Remember when like Fernando Torres was crazy high the other week? Um, like these cards go crazy when they're actually fitting an Evo. So that's one thing I would mention is if there is going to be an Icon or Hero Evo, those prices are definitely going to go up. So that's kind of the content that I'm expecting. Now, how's that going to impact the market? Because like we mentioned yesterday's market, it wasn't like a slow spot, but it was just a lot of the prices from Foot Birthday Team 2 just kind of stayed the same, maybe dropped a little bit. Like Mane is really low at the moment. Um, I still have the Goretzka that I bought at 1.2. He's been around 1.3, but not quite there. A couple cards dropped down even further yesterday, like Abili. I did pick up one, hoping for her to rebound back up a little bit. But then other ones did pretty good, like Raul's a little bit up. Um, Ian Wright's been chilling around 500,000 coins. This 450 is actually really tempting to me because he was 500k yesterday. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm still careful. I would want to be careful with a lot of prices because, remember, we are on the whole downtrend right now of after, like, the big inflation of post team of the year and the promos not being that good foot birthday has really corrected the market and brought prices down but this might be the last like separate promo we have until team of the season like that's how close we are to potentially being a team of the season guys like three weeks away from tots cards on this game that's really going to keep cards in check in my opinion i don't think you're going to see a ton of crazy rises this weekend and i do think overall over the next three weeks still you're going to see prices continue to slide down so that's why well, the way i'm thinking of it is i'm not buying a card for my team that i'm going to keep in my club for more than maybe just the weekend league type of situation so i would be continually careful with that right now in this game and i'll be just buying stuff to use for your team if you want to but I wouldn't go too crazy with it just because of thinking how that's going in terms of the market on the longer term trend. Now, for some of these foot birthday cards, they're rare. And I've been loving trading with these cards because they are very rare. In fact, I just noticed that Diogo Jota 
is up like 70,000 coins, up 76K from where he was just because he's rare and he had a price spike, right? And these cards, as people go out and use them and buy them, they have those fluctuations. Like this Benzema is going up. Alex Morgan's above 600K now. She was 580, I think, a couple days ago. Araujo has been doing very well. Um, I don't know about as many of the icons. Um, Henri's still around 8 million coins. This Blanc, he's going up. Yeah, he's up a little bit. So is this Blanc, up 100K. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Butchorgueño was 3.1. Now he's 3.3. So I definitely think there's a potential that some of the foot birthday cards from Team 2 could rise a bit as they go out of packs today. Um, I would just say what I'm going to look at it as is I'm going to look at it as quick flips scenarios where if I see a card that's starting to go up or maybe there's an SBC that's coming out today that makes me think, Oh, people are going to buy this card to link to the Alloway Rin. That's why I picked up some Winter Wild cards, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, or, or maybe a guy like this Zaire Emery, who is very rare, doesn't get packed a lot. And since he's leaving packs today as well, that re-release of players is going out of packs. The second re-release, basically. Um, maybe some of these cards are going to appreciate in value, like the Neymar, like the Zaire Emery, like the Ronaldo. So that's just one thing that I'm thinking about. I don't think it will last long, but we're just kind of contemplating that today. Um, just stick to the rare cards. The rare cards are where the money is right now. Lower budgets can be rare too. Like that Zyre Emery for 420k, he's not that expensive of a card, um, and he is pretty rare. Um, I would also argue that Marco Royce for 185k is really rare for a 185,000 coin card. Moppy Leon has some good fluctuations too, so definitely keep an eye out for some of the foot birthdays and maybe even some of the icons for some movement this weekend. And as we talk about fodder as well, Man, with all these crazy packs that EA keeps putting in the store, it does not make me want to invest in fodder one bit. Remember last Friday, we had the Ribery SBC, and it actually made some fodder prices move. Like, on stream, I remember watching Erling Holland's gold card go from 43,000 coins to 52,000 coins. Well, with more and more packs released throughout the entire week, we are now here heading into a new Friday, and Holland's back at 43, 44K. So, what's going to make this fodder go up again? It would have to be another... Big time icon SBC that would be a very good value. Maybe a Vinny Jr. Player of the Month could do it too. Um, but I really don't think I'm investing in fodder right now. Unless we get a crazy SBC today um, that requires something specific and it's unlimited repeatable. Guys, the key to making a fodder move is an SBC that is unlimited repeatable or has like specific rating requirements inside of it. And we haven't been seeing that. The last time we saw an unlimited repeatable SBC um, that was good was the Encore Icon, right? And Informs went crazy for that. Now, I don't think we're getting an Encore Icon again. We could. It's possible. If they drop that again, Informs are going to go up. There's also the Encore Hero pack as well that we saw added to the code. I want to draw some attention to that really quick. I think that's actually something that could be coming out as well. I think that was in the pack code that was added a couple of days ago. 86 plus Encore Hero pack. Seems like a pretty L pack and it's got to be cheap. But that could be an unlimited repeatable SBC. Another pack I want to draw attention to, Ultimate Birthday Single Player Pack. Um, there's two of them here. One of them contains an 88 or higher. The other one is just a any player from team. Oh, no, this is just new pack code. Just kidding. Ultimate Birthday 88 plus single player pack. Imagine EA drops that as like a three times repeatable SBC, whether it's per day. That might be too much, but maybe like three times repeatable in the next week that it's out. That would make some fodder spike, at least for the short term. So we're just going to have to be reactionary. If you see an SBC like that that is dropped or if there's a leak for one of those to come, then you can invest. But when it comes to informs, I mean, I have not been an inform investor in this year's game too much at all, apart from just a couple of quick flips. I mean, with the 84 times 5 being really the only 80 inform demand right now for these cards, I think I would sell those. That's just me personally. EA is going to run more lightning rounds this weekend. And again, that's another reason why I don't want to invest in fodder until A, I see a leak, or B, um, I actually see an SBC dropped like last week. We had plenty of time on a stream looking at Erling Holland for 43,000 coins or 44K. We could have bought up like two, three, four pages of this card as a 91 rated and then sold them for like three, four hours later for that inflated price. You know, that sort of move can happen after an SBC drops too, kind of like a you're like going out to the market and you're um, reaction investing in fodder type of thing. So watch out for that today, but they're going to run the store packs. They're going to run the big ones. Um, yeah, they've been doing that. So why would they stop? That's kind of the way that I'm looking at it right now. 
And um, yeah, that's kind of the content I'm expecting today. Should still be a good time on the game. I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of hype for today because it's all icons and heroes and icons especially have a lot of hype this year. So, I mean, imagine having the opportunity to get a really juiced and fun Van Percy. You've got, a, of course, you got the Cafu, you've got the Charlton, you got the Cruyff and all these other icons that are going to be in packs. Like, it could be a fun day today for sure on this game. We'll just see how EA delivers with the boost of the stats on the icons, how packable them and the heroes are. And yeah, guys, we will have to see from there. But if you enjoyed today's video, and if you're excited for it today, at least a little bit excited, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys in a Twitch stream today. That link is in the description as well. See you guys there. It's been Nathan for the Count. Peace.